let's look at the DFS side of things here, guys. So you can play a showdown contest featuring this matchup, of course. So who are you going to captain in this game, Kenny? Do you have to go with Curry? No, you don't. You don't at all. Uh, I want to get Curry in my lineup, but I'm not spending all that money. I'm going to go with the guy I just mentioned, Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, he's 10K in the flex, and in the captain spot, you actually get $2.1,000 savings off of Steph Curry. Look, he, he's just been an absolute menace uh, over the last five games of the regular season. And again, in that in that Warriors game, um, he had 23 rebounds against the Spurs. He had 16 against the Warriors. Uh, both of those games, he went over 23 points. The Warriors are fourth to last in rebounding rate. They are allowing the fourth most uh, second chance points per game. And they also are allowing 44.4% shooting in the paint this season outside of the restricted area. So I think that the recipe here is right for Jonas Valanciunas to have a monster game. I would absolutely not be surprised to see him outperform Steph Curry. I know that you have the volume with Curry, but I think that you're going to get at least 15 rebounds and at least 20 points with Jonas Valanciunas. Pretty hard to pass up a guy with a really high floor like this in the captain spot, considering you don't have to pay all the way up for Steph Curry, and then you can get them both in your lineup. So I think that it allows you the flexibility to get more of those guys you want in your lineup if you captain Valanciunas versus Curry. But obviously, I'm not going to fault you for captaining Steph Curry. That's just my <laughs> – I'm, I'm going to attack the Golden State Warriors front courts. It worked for me all season long. Alex, what do you think? Are you going to pay the 17100 to have Curry in your captain spot? I think if you're playing one lineup, you should pay up for Steph. I don't think anybody in this game ceiling even compares to his. Um, this past Sunday, we saw him go for 73 against the same Grizzlies team. He's averaging 56 in his last 10. And over that time, he's had a 41% usage rate. And that's just a godly number. You know, that's like Russell Westbrook in his MVP season in the Thunder or like James Harden when he was with the Rockets. The ball's in his hands almost nearly half the game. And uh, with so much on the line in this play in against the Lakers and against the Grizzlies, he's averaging 40 minutes. And barring a blowout, he's going to play that, that high of a volume. So I think you take Steph if you're making one lineup. But if you're making multiple lineups, I like paying down to Draymond. Uh, Draymond's averaging 43 fantasy points in his past five. And he's always a threat to reach the double-double bonus or the triple-double bonus. And like I keep saying, I think his championship pedigree is going to show up. And he's definitely going to come with less captain ownership from Curry or even Valentunas. So I think Draymond's the good pay-down option. 